I think I'm going to do a series here, uh, a reporting to those of us who want to continue to be informed uh, as to the reason why it is important for us a as a people to, to not only know how to defend ourselves, but not to be deceived by the powers that be or religion, um, which try to make you feel bad because you choose um, a biblical perspective, viewpoint, and stand on defending yourself, your person, your family, the whole nine yards. Um, so what I'm going to do here, most Ricky Tick, is I'm going to push out a bunch of videos for those of us who believe in carrying the swords. Now, Pastor Dowell, I'm not a Christian pastor. You need to understand that. So I'm not going to give you Christian perspectives here. I'm going to tell you exactly the way it is and what you need to do. Uh, and it's up to you to go and, and continue on your education and research and inform yourself. But I, well, I have a series of news articles right here that I need to read, but I'm going to take it one at a time so that we don't get overwhelmed. Now, listen to the headline right here. 14-year-old boy shoots mom's abusive boyfriend with shotgun after police removed man from property. Now, listen to me very closely. I preach and teach you all. That if you dial 911, you're going to die. Because 911 cannot protect you against any perpetuated evils that someone have already have made up in their mind that they're going to do against you. A restraining order is a piece of paper. It does not stop evil. Um, yeah. An order of protection is just a piece of paper. It does not stop evil the threat of evil. Do you understand? Calling the police, usually the evil has already been done by the time they get there. And that's why they carry very nice pens in order to write something because the threat is already eliminated. Or either, or either, or either in this case, um, somebody has already been a victim of somebody else's disturbed mental process, meaning their mind. But it's obvious that guns provide you the freedom and the liberty and the protection uh, that you need here since it is the modern day sword according to Luke 22, 36. But <clears throat> you need to understand something that your mind has been greatly influenced. And there's a lot of people out there that is looking to change your mind and your perspective, especially when it comes to the natural order of things of defending yourself. Look at this. All right, let's go to this article right here. Again, 14-year-old boy shoots mom's abusive boyfriend after shot with shotgun after police removed the man from property. So the police already remo removed this abuser. And there are many men out there, um, you know, first of all, you know, according to Torah, that's already grounds for separation and divorce when you start abusing uh, your wife. Um, it's ridiculous. Um, uh, any type of abuse, uh, desertion, um, I mean, I can go on and on and on with the superlatives, but I know you get the picture. Let's get on into the article right here. From all the details that we have from this story so far, it's read apparent that this was a clear case of self-defense. You hear that? Clear case. In Locust Fork, Alabama, an abusive boyfriend had been removed from the property by law enforcement that same day when he walked seven miles back and came into the home. That's when the 14-year-old son... Um, that's when the 14 year old son shot the man with a 12 gauge shotgun to protect his mother. And that's why I believe that, uh, the shotgun is the best home defense weapon that you can have. Cause all you pretty much have to do is point and shoot. You do not have to worry about accuracy. You don't have to worry about precision and you have to not worry about uh, reliability as far as the weapon goes. Um, if the round is chambered, you point, you shoot, you pretty much hurt or eliminate the target. Now, you know, that's another thing. Why is it in this society right here that people call you violent for defending yourself, but they never say nothing about the one who is causing the violence? Oh, it's just a sad situation that people got to be this way. See, the conditioning process is all but complete. A bunch of mind-numb, drooling people who own synthetic drugs that is altering and changing every aspect of your conscious. And that's what they want, a mindless society. Anyway, that's when the 14-year-old shot the man with a 12-gauge shotgun to protect his mother. 
This story is more proof that not only is a restraining order piece of paper incapable of protection, but that even the police could not be there to protect the abused mother in this case. Fortunately, the son was taught how to operate a firearm and he may have saved his mother's life. And I, I don't make no mistakes by telling you, you know, my children, when they grew up in his home, and I know most of you would disagree with this, but hey, one's 27 and the other is uh, 25, I believe, 24, all right? They grew up in a home where there was guns laying around all over the place. And I never had any trouble whatsoever at all out of either one of my children concerning firearms. I educated them. Both of them was very good marksmen and marks woman, uh, marks child, whatever you want to call it, by the time they were age 12. Um, they already knew how to unload, reload, take apart, um, aim, shoot, eliminate, and or destroy a target. They, they were taught very well. Um, and I never bought a, a gun case to lock up, to keep it out of the reach of my children. That's the philosophy of the world. So if somebody comes into your home at the most inopportune time, you have to run to your bedroom, you have to unlock the case, and then, maybe just then, if you're not dead already, or your family member's not dead, then you get to pull it out and then you uh, may have a chance at self-defense. It's just chaotic. It's stupid. But it's a good thing, and I commend whoever taught this 14-year-old how to use a firearm. Um, because uh, with the type of abuse that is going on today, uh, a lot of these men literally need to be shot in the face. That's what they really need in this hour in order to make an example out of them um, because women today, they just don't stand a snowball chance in hell when you have all these abusers. And there's a lot of cowardly, sick men out there that choose to abuse these women and stuff. These women get into these relationships. They develop soul ties. I commend this 14-year-old boy for standing up for his mother because his mother apparently couldn't do it herself. And this article is right. Uh, the police couldn't be there to stop it, but that young 14-year-old boy did. Fortunately, his son was taught how to operate the firearm, and he, and he may have saved his mother's life, and I'm guaranteed that he did. Um, and again, here's another case of when somebody's properly trained, trained um, in firearms, weapons acquisitions and stuff that uh, when used properly and stuff, um, you can actually save someone's life. Guess what? You don't have to worry about that abuser ever again. Threat eliminated. You can go on and live your life in peace. 14-year-old warrior, huh? That's the truth. That's the true straight way.